Hey everyone, I'm Trevor, and today we're at Disneyland to do something a little different. We're gonna ride all of the rides in alphabetical order and see what happens. So let's get going. And here we are, another day at Disneyland. Not quite beautiful this morning, but it'll clear up. It's July, so the, the marine layer won't last too long. But anyway, the idea for today's video actually came from one of you guys. We do seriously take all of your idea, uh, video idea recommendations. So if you have any, feel free to drop them in the comments below. Always happy to consider them and turn them into a video for you. But this morning we're gonna be headed to Alice in Wonderland to kick off the video. So that's our rope drop ride. You can actually look at the full list of rides in alphabetical order on the Disneyland app. All you have to do is open up the map and then hit show list on the wait time screen. And it'll have everything listed in alphabetical order. Alice in Wonderland over here off to our left hand side is the first one on the list. And it looks like most of that crowd is headed to Matterhorn. Not too bad at all. Like eight people in front of us that's it the good thing is alice in wonderland is actually a pretty decent like rope drop attraction this ride can get lines just as long as peter pan throughout the day so if we don't do it first thing in the morning we hardly ever ride it one of the fun things with this like ride idea is that we'll get to ride things we don't typically ride on a, on a given day so i really like this Rabbit. I'm not sure where I am. Hey, wait! Don't get me! There's a hidden Mickey not coming me. up right here in the not corner me. right there. We're the roses. Well, that was nice and quick. And this is gonna be an interesting video topic. I'm like very curious as to how the day is gonna go uh, doing all the rides in alphabetical order. Astro Orbiter is up next, another ride that we don't really ride all that often. So like I said, I'm kind of excited. We are going to ride as many rides as we can today, but eventually we are going to hit crowds and wait times. So I don't have any uh, illusions or delusions or whatever you want to say of actually getting them all done. We've tried that before. We had Genie Plus and still didn't accomplish it. This isn't going to be any better, but uh, we should still get through a good chunk of rides. Just expect that the ones later on in the list, like Space Mountain, probably not going to make it to Space Mountain, but we might make it to Matterhorn. Who knows? James was wondering if this was next, Astro Blasters over Astro Orbiter. But if you see, the official name begins with a B. Attention James is going to ride by himself because there's not that many people for the ride. So we thought uh, instead of doubling up, James would ride by himself. This is his first time doing Astro Orbiter by himself. And then Amy and Benjamin are, are back that way. This ride vehicle is always so uncomfortable. We're like slanted sideways at the moment. So I'm like hugging this edge of the, the ride vehicle. The lever is also too far away where I have to actually lean forward because they anticipate somebody being in front of you. I could always just do this though. <laughs> Are you excited to be driving by yourself? Yeah. Yeah. Off we go. Now let's see. I have to pull back to go up, I think. Am I going up? I can't tell. Yeah, I am. Going up. Okay. Oh, we're all the way at the top now. And... <laughs> Ooh. The rocket ships have initiated landing procedures. Please remain seated until your rocket ship comes to a complete stop. And Amy's like, started going E, E, E. And I'm like, what? Oh, baby ducks, I see. <laughs> Every day is made better with baby ducks. We were just saying we don't remember who suggested this video. So if you're watching, drop a line down in the comments so that we can properly thank you. Ride number three is gonna be Autopia. Now at this time of the morning, they usually only have one line running. So we'll see how long it takes, even though it says five minutes. Uh, there's, there's nobody here. They only have like seven cars running because there's nobody here. Just the people in front of us. That's it. 
They might even have to move some vehicles out of the way. <laughs> now nah, there's some people coming. They won't have to do that. But still. Oh, yeah. And wow, like five seconds later, here we go. We just hopped straight on the vehicle and started to pull away. And it's a walk-on. Yeah, an actual walk-on. Off the right a walk-on. Yeah? Well, keep your eye on the road, Mr. Benjamin. Oh! We're already starting the wall hitting. Oh! Mr. Benjamin's my chauffeur this time. The last time we did Autopia, James was my driver. This ride's a little bit bumpier. Oh! Speed limit is 6.5 miles per hour. Right behind us. Traffic jam. I like to look at the license plates, as we mentioned the last time. I'm assuming Hero 114 is Big Hero 6 2014. Ah! 8.28 in the morning. We are about 15 to 20 minutes ahead of schedule. Every time I come to Disneyland, it doesn't matter what my agenda is. I like run a scenario in my head. We're gonna go to this ride and it's gonna take this long. And we're gonna go to this ride and it's gonna take this long. And generally speaking, what I imagine in my head is a, a pretty good like schedule. Today is just so empty. I mean, look at this. Look at this. I don't imagine it's going to stay this way all day. It's Monday, July 8th. I would have thought that this would have still like had some 4th of July weekend crossover, carryover, but wow, it's just empty. Of course, this ride idea does mean that we will be crisscrossing the park quite a bit today, but it's not like too bad. I, I pre-plotted everything and going to Big Thunder Mountain Railroad next, of course. That's ride number four. And Big Thunder does have quite a line already at 8.30 in the morning. It's a 25 minute wait. So this is where the crowds are. I do have 30 minutes allotted for this attraction in my schedule though. Apparently the ride just broke down. They're evacuating the line. So unfortunately we're not gonna be able to ride this one. And since it broke, we're getting a chimichanga. Breakfast time. Big Thunder seems like it's having a lot of issues lately. The last time we were here last week, it was closed most of the day. That may happen again. So we just came over to Buzz Lightyear Astro Blasters. This would have been ride number five. Now it's number four. We will still try to do Big Thunder at some point throughout the day, but things like that are gonna happen and we're just gonna have to make adjustments. Our mission is to find his robots and his secret weapon and blast them. Green Squadron will retrieve the power cells. I'm gonna be riding with James on this one, but as typical, I will not be filming as we are competing for points. All right. This is about as best as I can do today. I'm not quite sure what these guys have. What's your score? 75,000? 75, Ouch! Our next ride is up here in Fantasyland, so we get to go through the castle. It's been a while since we mentioned this, so I thought it would be helpful to do so now. If you want to save some money on your next Disneyland vacation, call my friends at Getaway today. I'll put the phone number at the bottom of the screen here, or you can click the uh, link down in the description. It'll take you to their website where you can book yourself. If you use my coupon code or tell them when you talk to them on the phone that SoCal Disney Dad sent you, you will save an additional $10 on top of their already discounted packages. I love Getaway Today. They are super helpful, super friendly, and you will save some money aside from booking everything yourself. I do want to also remind you that I have put links to all of the products and the things that we use here in the channel down in the description of the video as well, and they will be in every video description from here on out. If you are always curious, you know, uh, what neck fan do you have? That's down in the description. If you want to know what phone charger you have, that's down in the description. What tripod and phone clamp do I use? down in the description. Oh boy, Casey Jr. Circus Train. The apps is five minutes. That's not five minutes, but uh, you know, just the way the video is, we gotta do it. This is a ride we routinely don't ride because this is probably more like 20 to 25 minutes despite what the app says. Alice and the Mad Hatter are having some fun with guests over here. They're having tea time. So fun. <laughs> and this ride just broke. So now we're gonna leave this one. Big Thunder Mountain Railroad is back open. We can see it right there. So back to Big Thunder. <laughs> 
I generally don't like to mention financial stuff here on the channel, but this is my full-time job. And so in order for me to continue making videos for you guys, I do have to remember to do it every now and again. And if you think about it and you wanna use my links, I appreciate it. Thank you very much. Oh, it still says it's a 25 minute wait, but uh, the line is significantly shorter than it was earlier. There's like nobody in line now. Woo, we got the red card. This is the card that they like use to, to update the wait times. This is like my first time getting the red card pretty much since I've been filming on YouTube. We used to get them all the time, I feel like, but this is the first time in a really long time. Well, and this is why they're sending it through. I think the 25 was from before when it was closed. So they're sending the red card through now so that it updates it to a five minute wait because it's definitely gonna save five minutes after this. A literal walk on. I think they used to hand those red cards out a lot more than they do now, but it was fun to get one again. Benjamin is my riding buddy for this one. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> Benji is hands in the air. <laughs> Another hidden Mickey. Like to point those out from time to time. It took us two and a half minutes, and that was just to walk through the queue. Weird thing is, even after they took the red card, the app still says 25. So, I don't know, that's weird. Cause that definitely should have updated to five. It is 9.24 a.m. now, and we have five rides done. So, because we spent quite a bit of time waiting. Oh, hello. Just met a viewer on the channel. As I tell you guys all the time, if you see us filming, I don't care. Say hello, I will stop. I will pick right back up where we left off. I love meeting you guys, so please do not feel bashful whatsoever about saying hi. What I was saying though was that uh, because of the breakdowns, we waited in Big Thunder's line for a little bit and then it broke. And then we had to crisscross back and then we get, waited in Casey Jr.'s line for a little bit and then it broke. So we lost a little bit of time waiting in lines and crisscrossing back and forth to like go oh, do big thunder again but but uh you know five rides in an hour and a half is not terrible uh, so somebody else bought our kids a churro again via super chat so we wanted to say thank you so much uh, they each got a churro <laughs> and it looks like they might be getting close to reopening Casey Jr. Circus Train right now because um, it just pulled into the station again. So maybe, we'll see. You all have been super, super generous. I cannot express how much we appreciate um, when you guys buy our kids snacks. They, they absolutely love it. <laughs> so thank you. <laughs> we waited till we finished the churro and Casey Jr. still hadn't reopened. So now we're working our way up to Toontown for Chip and Dale's Gadget Coaster. You know, as I think about it, we're actually doing pretty good as far as time because it was 25 to 30 minutes probably for Big Thunder Mountain earlier if we'd have been still waiting in line. But we got to ride it in under five because it was a walk-on when we went through. So the 25 minutes that we lost is just kind of like what we've been spending ping-ponging around. When I look at the time and I look at my original like thought schedule, we're, we're pretty much right on track. Toon Town. With any luck, we won't make it to the R's and I won't have to ride that ride. Oh, hey there, Gooster. It's Pete. Here we go. Chippendale's Gadget Coaster. Says it's a 15 minute wait. The line looks semi sort of long. Might be more than 15 minutes, but that's okay. <laughs> So the line is ending under the uh, beach towel here. We'll see how long it takes from this point. This is the first time all morning we've actually had to time the attraction. Yeah, I mean, I timed Big Thunder, but it was- Two minutes and 40 minutes. seconds. Yeah. The last time I rode this ride, I think was back on uh, Disney Channel night in March. But um, I don't know what he's doing. 
The, uh, the last time that the kids rode the ride, however, might have been when it opened last year. Okay, we're about to get on. It hasn't felt really long, yeah. 13 minutes, so it's pretty accurate, 15. All right, that's pretty great. I don't think I'll be able to film on the attraction, though. Look how long the line got now. Yeah, 35 minutes. 35, wow. A shorty, but a goody. That was our kids' first roller coaster ever, both of them. Uh, you know, three years apart, of course, but yeah, that, that's a great coaster, even if it is small. James said Mickey and Minnie's Runaway Railway is only a 15 minute wait. Sadly, we are a far, far, far away from M. Next up, we are going to ride the Disneyland Railroad. It is D. Now there is technically one D ahead of it, the Disneyland Monorail. And don't hate me, I know a couple of people have mentioned this in the comments before, but we are gonna slightly change things. Monorail's more of a mode of transportation, so I'd be tempted to skip it entirely anyway, but um, we are going to lunch just pretty much right by the monorail station in downtown Disney. And so we're gonna wait to ride the monorail until then. Here it comes. Which one do we have this time? It's the CK Holiday. As we leave Toontown Depot, we get a real nice view of the happiest land of the all, Fantasyland. You can see people stepping onto It's a Small World just below us. And, off of the distance, majestic Matterhorn Mountain. Just to make this a little easier, this is gonna be the only stretch of the railroad that we ride. So we are gonna get off in Tomorrowland. There's really nothing else to look at on this stretch though, aside from what we just looked at, and apparently Benjamin. After we got off that ride, we are having to do a bit of a crisscross again. That's the name of the game for this video, because we have to go up to Dumbo. Uh, probably, probably best to go this way, maybe. It's like 10.30, and what I tell you, Alice in Wonderland's a 40 minute wait at the moment. That's like longer than Peter Pan. Okay, here's Dumbo. It says it's a 30 minute wait. 30 minutes is about the max that we can handle if we're gonna make our lunch reservation. So we'll come in and we'll see. Hopefully it's a little quicker. We are just about to get on and it, it just flipped to 30 minutes. So 30 minutes was pretty accurate. That's about the max that we could do too, because we got to have a tight connection to lunch after this. A lunch at 11.30. Go head on in, Benjamin. We're number five. This is another ride we don't do all that often. Benji's excited. They're playing Beauty and the Beast music. Why are we going down, Benjamin? You're staring us down. There we go. Now we're going up. We're all the way to the top. Oh, look, there's storks. James and Amy are behind us. <laughs> With Dumbo down, we have to book it to the monorail as we saw it just arrive. I don't know if we're gonna make it or not, but we're gonna try. Well, we missed it. So we're gonna have to grab the next one. Hopefully it comes soon because our reservation's in 15 minutes. Monorail red. Got off the monorail, time to go to lunch. And for lunch, we are gonna be eating at Din Tai Fung, downtown Disney's newest restaurant. 
And uh, this is gonna be a separate video, which should already be up on the channel by the time this one airs. Now that we are done with lunch, we're gonna head back on the monorail into the park. If you wanna see what we ate at Din Tai Fung, I'm gonna put some pictures on the screen here just so you can see a quick look at it. But you can check out the full video already live on the channel if you have not already watched it to see our thoughts on Din Tai Fung. But uh, yep, heading back into the park now. It is about 12.40 in the afternoon. So that was the best lunch in the world. Oh, wow. High praise from Benjamin. Guess you're going to have to go watch the video. What was that noise? You know, I don't think I have ever, ever boarded the monorail here. I've ridden it from here because we've stayed on before, but I think this is my first time actually like boarding here. Interesting. I want to issue a quick apology. Uh, so right before we came over here, we were running a little bit late because of Dumbo, running a little bit late to our reservation. Ended up getting here in plenty of time. I didn't realize that uh, it didn't even open until 11.30, but we missed the monorail by like five seconds. And I was a little bit grumpy and the, the because we missed it and the people in front of us uh, were kind of like the source of the grumpiness. And uh, I didn't say anything directly to them, but I apologize for my poor attitude in the moment. Um, I, you know, it was just, I'm sorry. Now that we're back in the park, we're gonna take the ride right below the monorail, finding Nemo Submarine Voyage. That is next on our alphabetical order list, F, Finding Nemo. All right, let's take guesses down in the comments. How many, uh, what letter do you think we're, we're gonna end on? <laughs> How many rides do you think we're gonna actually get through? This is yet another ride we don't ride all that often. I'm beginning to realize that we don't ever ride like the rides at the beginning of the alphabet. <laughs> We, we tend to go for like the M's and the B's, the, the Mr. Toad's Wild Ride and the Pirates of the Caribbean. We don't ride Kippa Yeah. Oh, and the S's too, like Star Wars or Space Mountain. <laughs> we did, yeah. There's a couple of, of, of ones up there, but. 25 minutes and we are walking on the attraction now. favorite part right here. You know, there's something nice about doing Nemo every now and again. I mean, it's a 13 minute ride. So whereas like you wait 60 minutes for Peter Pan and the ride's over in 90 seconds, at least if you wait 30 or 40 minutes for Nemo, you're getting like, you know, a 13 minute ride. That's, that's a pretty decent commitment.
There are no G rides at Disneyland. There are a couple over at DCA, but we're not doing DCA today, just doing Disneyland. That means uh, Indiana Jones is next over here in Adventureland because there are no H rides either. Well, there is one Haunted Mansion, but yeah, you know, we're not gonna be riding that today. Posted wait time is 50 minutes for Indiana Jones. This does not look like it's gonna be 50, although it's all dependent upon the lightning lane, but down here doesn't look too bad. This looks pretty good. Now, uh, the other thing is, hopefully it doesn't break down on us this time because last time it broke down and it took a little bit longer than it should have otherwise. After just 10 minutes, we are entering the temple. No, now, last me. time without the breakdown, it was about 15 no, minutes sorry. once we entered the temple. Uh, so if that's the case again, it'll be 25 in total, much better than 50. So here in this room, there's a Pizza Planet truck right there apparently. And it's a hidden Mickey, like the, the wheels of the Pizza Planet truck. I don't know if you can see that very well. You have chosen right. This path leads to timeless youth and beauty. to look at the wait time until we were like pulling into the attraction on the vehicle. So Amy checked her phone, but I wasn't able to like say anything. Uh, it was 27 minutes. So I said 25 was my guess. We were going into the temple at 10. So it took 17 minutes from the lightning lane merge point. So if you have lightning lane or DAS or something like that, yeah, it's still like another 17 minutes after you get into the temple. And unfortunately for us, the next eye is on the complete other opposite side of the park. Yes, it is. It's a small world. And we have 15 minutes. It is 2.45, actually probably about 2.47 at this moment. We have about 15 minutes to get up to It's a Small World before the parade. And at some point they are up. We missed it by about five seconds. Again, we missed something by five seconds. So they're making us go all the way around Matterhorn Mountain to get up to It's a Small World. And then they'll probably cross us back over into Fantasyland. It's a lot of zigzagging if they just let us walk up the main street. We have 15 more minutes before it even like goes on. It's plenty of time to get up there and get out of the way. Okay, here we go. We made it. Parade hasn't started yet, so uh, I think it says, what's it say? 30 minute wait. We, uh, we will see. If it's a 30 minute wait, if it is, we might actually get to see the parade. It's about uh, 3.01 and it looks like they're a little late in starting the parade because it should be starting right here. Um, that cast member just walked off though. Here we go. Yeah, just a tad late. Well, you're gonna get to see like three and a half minutes. I know. I was like, the one time I went this year, 30 minute wait, and it's not. When was the last time we rode It's a Small World? I don't even remember now. Was the last time we rode this when we tried to do every ride in a single day, like back in March or April? I think so. It's we haven't long. ridden it since it's then. Been a long time. As far as ride footage goes, this is all you're gonna get because once I get inside, the copyright monster attacks. What that means is any of the music sets off um, security alarms and things with YouTube. <laughs> so uh, unfortunately, you cannot film inside the ride itself without doing some sort of, you know, sound voiceover. But uh, anyway. Pizza Planet Truck, Pizza Planet Truck. Well, that was a nice relaxing ride. James was nodding off. <laughs> 
there's some footage. Uh, <laughs> he was just bobbing his head doing the whiplash thing. Um, it was cute. And uh, I also saw a Pizza Planet truck on there. That was really fun too. Anyway, we are now headed to Jungle Cruise. Yeah, <laughs> all the way back to Adventureland. We'd have been better off riding Jungle Cruise after Indiana Jones. I mean, I knew it was next. I knew it was next. It was just a matter of, we're going in order. Are we strapping Casey Jr. though? I don't know. Maybe we'll swing back and hit Casey Jr. We'll have to see. It'll depend on whether like, you know, Matterhorn is up and it has a 75 minute wait and we're like, no, no, let's go do Casey Jr. instead. <laughs> that may be what we end up doing. And I'm not joking either. Matterhorn had a 75 minute wait, like, I don't know, a half an hour ago. I don't know what it is right now. And Rise of the Resistance was 45. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Oh look, we found the back of the parade. We are gonna take a quick detour, however, to the Tiki Juice Bar. And uh, what we got was Dole Whip, of course. And uh, once again, this is courtesy of one of our viewers here on the channel. They uh, gave us a super chat, said buy a Dole Whip. So we got a bowl, Dole Whip for the kids, and then we got a Dole Whip for Amy my and I teeth. as well. You what, you lost your tooth? No. You're very close. My teeth. You're very close to losing another tooth. Yes, you are. Once again, thank you, thank you for the Dole Whip. Absolutely loved it. We appreciate it. But next on the list, after It's a Small World, is Jungle Cruise. Let's see what the wait time is. It says 30 minutes. Uh, what was the wait time on It's a Small World? I, I even for, I forgot. Like, it definitely wasn't 30. I didn't check, but it wasn't 30. I think it was probably like 20, 15 to 20. So it's possible that this is much faster as well. We'll find out. And this is why you choose the left-hand side of the path. The uh, left-hand side is just almost always continually moving. Empty left lane. See, this is the left lane. Empty. <laughs> we, we barely have stopped moving. The other reason is if they pre-board people like they did just here, they put them on that inside track or on the left-hand side here, which is only accessible through the right-hand side of the lane. So that's less people they can even put in that boat from the right lane. Additionally, our line is just shorter. We're already at the end here, but this one continues to wrap up and over. Wow, what a long 30 minutes. Yeah, does anybody know why tigers have stripes? So they don't get spotted. Yeah. Watch out for my friend Ginger. She likes to snap. I hope no one's wearing a yellow on board. My friend here might think that you're appealing. Yeah. No one? Okay, good. The eighth wonder of the world. The dark side of water. There's a Pizza Planet truck right in the middle there. So they do have one on Jungle Cruise, just here at Trader Sam. Made a quick detour to the Jolly Holiday Bakery Cafe for a free cup of water. And now we're going back up to Fantasyland. Next up is K for King Arthur Carousel. This is another one I feel like we haven't done since our uh, Every Ride in One Day video. Can you think of any other time? Yeah. This one's usually a good one for like no line. Um, you see that if, we, if you make it through the turnstile, you're pretty much guaranteed to get on the ride. So this is a five minute wait. See how much, how much people they can fit on this attraction? It's got a huge capacity. So it's a, it's a really great one if you're looking for no line. Everyone look here, Benjamin. 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 Benjamin's not looking. Now you're really low. I feel like at this point we're just ticking off these rides rapid fire. Next one's Mad Tea Party. Just a very, very short walk away from King Arthur Carousel. We have started the M's. We have started the M's. I don't even think it's four o'clock yet. My bad, it's 424. <laughs> a little bit after four. But anyway, we started the M's. Um, Mad Tea Party's next. Why are we doing this again? 
I'm thinking that to myself too. I told them not to spin it if they want to stay in the park. Yeah, if you spin it and and we throw up, we have to leave. You understand that? So we don't want to get sick, okay? You understand? Not if you're not if you're alive. Not if you hear me. <laughs> Somebody is a uh, a bit dazed. I think it's time for dinner after this. Maybe. It's like 4:30, 4:45. Don't we ride the river boat first? Well, we'll see. He keeps sticking his head up here. Avoid Matterhorn, or are we like inevitably gonna end up? Oh, we're gonna have to do Matterhorn unless you leave it like five. They're doing a fairly decent job of not spinning, they're just very nice and slow. Nice and slow. I can handle this, I think. I can't tell what's worse, Mad Tea Party or Roger Rabbit. You think this is worse? Yeah, I mean, I don't know. I don't get sick on Roger Rabbit. It's a dark ride, so maybe that helps because you don't like, I don't know. See, but you can handle Guardians and not this. What? Because to me, Guardians, Cosmic Rewind in Florida and way Oh, no, Cosmic Rewind is nothing like this. But that's funny when you have a No. No. It has been a really amazing day today. I, I gotta admit, for 4.30 and we're um, already starting to tick off the M's, I thought that you know we wouldn't even make it past these. Uh, well, we might not make it past them. I don't know, there's a lot of M's. There's like six M rides, so we're gonna find out. We're working towards one of them right now, Mark Twain Riverboat, but uh, I honestly thought that we would be hitting like far more really long lines than we have, and that could just partly be because it seems to be not as crowded um, as I would have expected it. And that's something that we've actually been kind of telling you here on the channel for a little while now. July? July is like really awesome. Uh, I feel like at Walt Disney World, July is like the peak, the peak crowds and the peak heat too. Say, <laughs> if you want to feel like you're being cremated, <laughs> There's our next ride, Mark Twain Riverboat. It's sailing away, oh no. Oh, it's not sailing away yet. Uh, it's just, uh, <laughs> we can make it, we're gonna make it. Oh, we're just gonna be the last people to make it on. Woo, woohoo. What, uh, what happened to all the seats? I don't know, I think they're up there. We're not enough. They usually have the chairs down here, not that I was coming to sit down here. Um, it looks like the, the upper, upper areas are all taken up anyway, so we'll come down right here. This works fine by me. Have they done the Mark One thing already? Did I miss that? Oh, I missed it. I uh, I was looking for what to eat for dinner, and I missed them going. Here, I'll just do it. Mark One, Mark Twain. That was the leadsman calling out the depth markers. <laughs> Mark Twain is not just the name of a famous author. It means that the water here is two fathoms deep. There, okay, I got it. <laughs> swim, ducky, swim. Swim faster than you've ever swum before. Up, up, retreat, 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 abandon. Okay, he's gonna go back. He's going back, yep, yep. He's going back the way he came. Didn't make it. <laughs> you see baby ducks? Don't get separated from your mother. Don't live out the song. There they are. Oh, cute baby ducks. One baby duck. Look, even more of them. That's a different set. Oh, look, a whole bunch of them. This is my new favorite ride at this time of the year. What? This is your new favorite ride? Right now? Yes. <laughs> well, we took the entire ride to uh, to figure out where we're eating at dinner. We mobile ordered uh, to, for a Red Rose because we got to head back up that way anyway. Um, and now we're back. And here we are at Red Rose Tavern. Haven't eaten here in a while either. Today is just the day of things we haven't done in a while. Coming straight here to mobile order. And here is a look at our food at Red Rose Tavern. Uh, the boys are gonna be splitting an adult portion pepperoni flatbread. There are six slices here. So that's three each for them and that's plenty. Amy is getting the tavern chopped salad. Uh, we've never gotten this before. It looks like it's got some 
like ham on it and maybe some uh, like Munster cheese or something. I have to take a look at what type of cheese that is, uh, but it looks pretty good. Uh, I am getting the Cordon Bleu sandwich, uh, Cordon Bleu chicken sandwich rather. Never had this before, really excited to give it a try. And for dessert, of course, we had to get the summer stuff. New edition of the gray stuff. It's been out for a little while. Uh, same colors as the spring stuff, but it has a sun-shaped cookie on the bottom. So that's kind of cool. So that was indeed Munster cheese on your chopped salad. Uh, how was it? Um, it wasn't too bad. I don't really like the olive stuff that's on here, but thankfully it was in one little corner. So I just kind of pushed it to the side and ignored it. Um, I don't know if that's so I'm sure if you like went in and ordered, you could ask for it without. I don't know if you could with mobile order. Um, but I actually like the Munster cheese. It made a different change to, you know, what I normally put on salad. So I might have to buy some of that and use that ourselves on salad. As far as my chicken cordon bleu sandwich, I think that it was probably the best sandwich that I've had here at Red Rose Tavern. And it's definitely miles and away better than anything I've had at Hungry Bear Restaurant. Uh, as far as like the sandwiches go here in the park, it's, it's a pretty decent one. Um, I still think there are better places like elsewhere in the park that are, are better. And it's not even the best sandwich in the park because I think that's gotta go to the um, uh, Beef Birria uh, toasted cheese that they have at uh, Jolly Holiday Bakery Cafe or the Beef Bulgogi, whenever they sometimes have that. Uh, either one of those are, are fantastic and amazing. And uh, um, yeah, so it, it's probably one of the best items here at Red Rose anyway. How was your pizza? Good. You liked it? As far as the summer stuff goes, I felt like this one was a little fruitier than some of the other gray stuffs. Uh, the green stuff, I think, is still my favorite, the mint version. We're coming up very shortly on the grave stuff. That's the Halloween version. And I like that one too, because that's chocolate. So um, we'll have to get the grave stuff again at some point throughout the Halloween season. James spotted that Casey Jr. Circus Train has no line. No line. So we are gonna do it. We're gonna do it after all. Woo woo! We're still able to do it. There's also two trains on the track right now, so there's not really any line right now anyway. Yeah, they only had one earlier, so you had to, the one that, like, you know, if this were it, you'd have to wait for it to go the whole way around before they'll load another one. We're gonna come down here to the caboose, and James and I are gonna ride backwards! Woohoo! Let's go! Coming down the track with the smoky sack. Thanks for uh, interesting perspectives going this direction. Ooh, lucky Matterhorn. There goes the other one. Woo -woo. The other parade is starting soon. It starts at uh, 530 coming up that way from Main Street this time. But we're coming over here to Matterhorn Bobsleds. It says it's a 60 minute wait on the app, not fun. That's a big foot. Well, uh, we didn't go very far. We took like three steps inside the line. This is gonna take a while. You know, I don't think I have ever once waited standby for this I'm ride. To think of I, have. I don't know. Not once. I single rider it and if Benjamin if Benjamin were seven, that's what we'd be doing right now. But he's not. Story of our life today, apparently Matterhorn just broke. So, yeah, we're probably abandoning. We had to fight through parade traffic to get up here, so no footage getting here. But uh, 30 minutes it says, and I think we beat most of the, like I said, the parade crowds because we were following the back of the parade. So everyone watching it was still behind us. We waited a good 15, 20 minutes in the Matterhorn line, but to be honest with you, I felt like we hadn't gotten very far anyway. Uh, there was still a long way to go. Now the trick is, where is 30 minutes gonna be? Because I've waited 45 and it's been out of the attraction before. And we're just, we're, yeah, this, this is, I don't think this is 30. That room is empty too. Okay, now we found the line. 
I still don't know if it's gonna be 30. I think it's gonna be less than that, but we'll see. I love this, check it out. So we've got this box, right? Sarcafa. Sarcaf. Sorcaf. Uh, mummy box. 12 minutes to the pre-show here, 12 minutes. Benjamin wanted to get smoked. <laughs> and it's been 20 minutes and we're on next. We're in row number one. Amy was just pointing out that uh, right here, up on the rafters, it spells M-I-C-K-E-Y. Mickey Mouse. Mickey Mouse. At this point of the night, it is 6.40 p.m. and we usually get out of here around uh, uh, seven o'clock or so. Millennium Falcon Smuggler's Run is next on the list and it is a 65 minute wait. So we are definitely not gonna do that. Which means unless by some miracle, Matterhorn reopens as we walk by and a lot of people left the line. So there's hardly any line and then we get to just walk right on. We'll ride that. But if that doesn't happen, that's it. We called it a day, 18 rides. That's what we got through, 18 rides. There were 12 we did not do. There are a lot of rides closed for construction. Things like Davy Crockett's Explorer Canoes, Winnie the Pooh, um, Haunted Mansion, those sorts of things. And so uh, the typical ride count at Disneyland is 34 rides, but there's only 30 at the moment. So we did 18, we did not do 12. I'd say we had a pretty successful day doing 18 rides when it's alphabetical and we were literally like ping ponging around the park half of the time. <laughs> the, the amount of times we backtracked, we I tell you what. And we didn't have Genie Plus or whatever they're renaming it to. Lightning Lane Multipass. Yeah, that's confusing. Benjamin oh, was just like, Daddy, are we going home? And I said, yeah. And he said, oh, I don't want to go home. <laughs> The kids love these ride heavy days, these vlogs that we do, be it ride every single ride in a single day, or let the kids pick their whole day, or something like this, where we try to ride them in alphabetical order. These vlogs, the kids love them because we just get to ride tons of rides. Some other times when we come, uh, we'll, like the reason why they go and do their own thing half of the time is because I'll spend sometimes four hours not even riding a single ride. And when they tag along, sometimes they do, when they tag along for those, they're just like, oh, I wanna go do something else. And that's it for our time here today, doing every single ride at Disneyland in alphabetical order, or as many as we could. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button on the way out. If you would like to see us do the rest of the rides at Disneyland, or uh, even do a DCA video doing this same sort of thing, go ahead and let us know down in the comments. Click this video to keep watching. Thanks for watching, and we will see you again next time.